Well, I had a couple of buddies of mine on Discord ask me to cover this story, right? So I figured I had I would I would cover this story, right? All right, so Jackson, Mississippi. Uh, apparently, there is a mass grave in Jackson, Mississippi, with 215 people in it behind the jail, right behind the Hines County Detention Facility. And uh, I'll read you this article. And then I'm going to kind of explain to you exactly what the fuck is going on. Families of people who were buried in, in a pauper's field next to the Hens County Penal Farm near Jackson, Mississippi, are calling for a federal investigation into the barrels, which took place without families being notified, with their attorney now saying the field holds hundreds more graves. The families want a full accounting of the bodies buried there. The issue became national news last fall when several families said they had waited months to hear about a missing loved one, only to learn that their relative had died months earlier were buried in a grassy field, their graves marked only by a metal tag bearing a number. Their attorney, civil rights lawyer Ben Crump, says he believes many more people were buried under similar conditions. We know based on the record, man, listen, fucking tired of these stupid ass. We know based on the records from the coroner's office that since 2016 in the last eight years, we can identify 215 individuals that were buried behind that, that jail and their families have not been notified. When NPR contacted officials in Jackson to ask about Crump's allegation, Melissa Faith Payne, the city directors of communications to the bodies we're buried in a pauper's graveyard managed by Hens County. It's not a secret burial guard, she said, and those graves are the bodies of those who were unclaimed by family when they died. These, pers- these people are either homeless people, inmates from local jails who died, but their relatives never claimed their bodies, I- and identified persons who officials were never able to connect with family or even people who died whose families couldn't afford a funeral. <sighs> okay. So let's, let's, let's discuss this, right? Because, like, you know, I mean, this is... Just all right. Well, actually, you know, well, let's finish this up. Last October, Better uh, Betterston Wade told uh, NBC News, Betterston, man, listen, to that. the anguishing story of how months after she filed a missing report, a missing persons report about her son Dexter Wade, she was finally told that her son was dead at age 37. The police also told her that the county officials had buried him in the local pauper's field. She said, police investigators. Uh, said Dexter Wade had been struck and killed by an SUV driven by an off-duty Jackson Police Department officer on Interstate 55 just two hours after his mother-in-law last saw him. Or just, yeah, just hours after his mother last saw him. The police report said Wade was on foot at the time. The accident was investigated and determined that was in fact an accident. There was no malicious intent. Mayor Chawok Antar Lamumba said, Jesus fucking Christ. But Lumumba said officials had failed to inform the Wade family. There was a lack of communication with the missing person division, the coroner's office, and the police department's accident investigations unit, he said. By the time Betterson Wade learned her son's fate, she had spent months looking for him, contacting police in Jackson, giving them potential leads, and asked for any updates about where her son might be. She also asked for help on social media to find him. I just couldn't believe that he had disappeared off the face of the earth, and nobody knows where he was. Uh, nobody knows where. He was, nobody knows where he was. And, okay, yeah, listen, that's a terrible sentence. It turned out Dexter Wade had a prescription medical bottle with his uh, name on it in his pocket when he died. Within days of his death, the Hens County Coroner's Office was able to confirm his identity and share that information um, with, uh, share that information with police, but somehow Jackson police were unable to inform Wade's mother until last August. Questions persist over burials. When Wade's family finally recovered his body, their attorney said that an independent examination found that the jeans he was buried held a wallet which contained a state ID, a credit card, and other identifying information. The fact that Dexter had a state identification card and several other identifying items showed that it was a concerted effort to keep the truth in the manner of his death from his family, Crump said. According to the, um, a member station, Mississippi Pol- uh, Public Broadcasting, there is no excuse, not even incompetence, for not notifying a next of kin when identified, um, of an identified man's death. Since Wade family struggled to find Dexter, uh, Payne said the Jackson Police Department had changed its policies to improve how it informs uh, persons next of kin. At least two other families are known to have been informed they have relatives buried in the field in the case of a man named Mario Moore, 40. The lagging communication was compounded by another issue to Jackson Police Department initial failure to cl- disclose more than 20 homicides that took place over the course of 2023. In October, when the gr- uh, agency finally released the names of the people who had been killed, Moore's family was shocked to see his name on the list and learned that he had been killed on February 2nd and buried in the same field as Dexter Wade. All right, anyway. Okay, so let's talk about Jackson, Mississippi. All right, Jackson, Mississippi is... 
it's a third world country, all right? It's a third world city. Let's keep this all the way 100, all right? This is a fucking city that literally can't provide water to its fucking citizens on a very basic level, all right? This is some very basic stuff. They can't remove trash from the fucking streets. And they might have the highest fucking crime rate in the nation. This place is a failed fucking city. Let's keep this all the way 100, 100% honest. All right. Jackson, Mississippi is a shithole. It is quite honestly a complete and utter shithole. It's ran by a dude named Lamumba. I, I mean, if, is there anything more you really need to fucking say in the end of the day? Like, a, what, what are you, you going to say about a place that can't provide water, can't get rid of the trash, massive homicide rate? And the police are just throwing, chucking motherfuckers in the field at this point, going, I, I don't know what to do. This place is a failed fucking state. All right? And it's all like diversity hires. It's completely black-owned, black-run city. The, the place is a fucking shithole. All right? It is what it is. It's massively welfare-ridden and, like, just straight dependent. And for everybody going, like, man, listen, the police are standing here probably, like, that hit and run was probably... The, or the, the fucking guy who got hit by the fucking cop. Like, you know, let's let's be perfectly honest here. What would have happened if they would have informed the mom that the kid was hit by the police and killed? There would have been a fucking massive lawsuit in the city and they would have been able to do more fucking basic services. Let's be real. All right? Because that's what would have fucking happened. This, this place is, it needs more than money. All right? It needs way more than money. <laughs> like, yo, know, there's... I have no idea how you fix a situation like this. I don't even know what the population is. I think it's like 200,000 fucking people, right, in this city. Almost all of them below the poverty rate. It is it is a complete and utter shithole. I, I don't even know, like, what to even... I don't even know where to begin to solve these type of problems in a fucking city. Like, literally, like, everything is broken in this fucking... Everything. There's nothing that works in this city. Even the power is going in and out at this point. They have fucking brownouts and shit. This place is a complete and utter dumpster fire. I, I don't know. Y'all look, man. I'm I'm Tom Pease of Pinoy News. Y'all know the deal. Um, do me a favor. Uh, like, share, and subscribe for more of this content. Peace.